Hello everybody, I'm Koda and welcome back to Isla del Coco Zoologico de Reptil, also known as ICZR or as I call it in the Discord, Cocos, um, because it's shorter to say. But um, we've had a lot of changes, um, more so new stuff being added. Not, well, nothing really has changed, like what was once there. It's like sort of path, like we changed the pathing. Uh, nothing else really like this all the same uh, but we've had a tropical storm which is why we had radio and silence for so long we had to rebuild everything uh, we tried to rebuild it as much as we could so uh, yeah most of the things will still look the same and here's a sloth tiramisu still doing fine all the animals by the way did uh, manage to survive because we transported them out early so yeah, everything survived. And here's one of our new animals, the broad snouted caiman, the smallest species of crocodilian we have currently in the zoo, which is housed with a school of six red eyed piranhas. Not to be confused with red bellied piranhas, which are the more commonly seen piranhas. These piranhas actually grow much larger to the size of 41 centimeters, which is massive for a fish. For a freshwater fish that lives in schools, this is actually really big. Um, the two will probably get along fine, and if not, then we can easily move these out. It uh, won't, won't be much of a deal. And we obviously have the aviary with our green iguana and uh, plume basilisk doing fine as usual. And then we have our first mammal and large mammal, and probably the only one for a long while. Uh, because we're obviously going to focus on reptiles and not really mammals. But it's Pep Marsh, their indigenous species to South America. Um, and yeah, we basically are probably going to keep him there, keep them here for conservation uh, purposes. And um, yeah, I mean, uh, Val's Jerome Park also has a group of Marsh deer, so that's going to be cool. Maybe some breeding stuff can going on, but. That, that's all about it, really. Oh, and children love them. When do they not love meat? Uh, I mean, plant eaters, herbivores. And then, of course, we, here we have the exhibit of Chevrolet, or male Cuban crocodile, and his two females. Um, no mating behavior yet, but I think that will come eventually. And here we have a very nifty thing. A very small exhibit for two porcupines. Uh, we got those by forced intake, uh, we gave them a little exhibit here, um, and I'm really cool with it because not many people in South America know about the European or like animals like porcupines, deer, bears and that stuff. Oh, brown bears, obviously they know grizzly bears maybe, but anyway, we also have this in here which, this is all going to be filled by like small terraria. I like what we got here, like one, two, three, four, small terraria. And that's what's going in here. We could, um, we have like frogs, small skinks, uh, igu uh, not iguanas, geckos, all that kind of cool stuff. Um, but in here we have a group of mantella, golden mantella frogs from Madagascar. Um, so that's going, to, that's really cool. Uh, they're they're the only, uh, well, no, they're not the only. They're the second critically endangered species that we have alongside with our Cuban crocodiles and both species we're going to hopefully get a breeding program for so we're going to look at 